Hey Google, stop. Good morning. since I last filmed a YouTube video. I think there's another recent video where I say the exact same thing. Clearly, this is a me problem. I'm not being consistent. But you know what? That has to do with the topic of today's video. Generally, I've been feeling like I need just a, a reset, like a life level up in all aspects. But I heard somebody quote a book, Atomic Habits, I didn't read it myself. I heard someone quote it. Supposedly one of the tips is that if you're looking to start a new habit, you should start really small. So even though I know I need like a life reset, I wanna start with creating a new morning routine. A morning routine, because right now I don't have one. Let me paint a picture for you. Wake up at whatever time, like 10 a.m., which is embarrassing. Then I'll scroll TikTok sometimes in the morning, which feels like it should be illegal. Like it feels like illicit or something. <laughs> it's just like a barrage of sounds and intensity. And then sometimes David brings me coffee in bed. So like the first thing I ingest is coffee. And that also feels like it should be illegal. So my plan for my morning routine is very simple. Wake up around 8.30, drink a glass of water, spend at least five to 10 minutes saying prayers, meditating, having a quiet moment without my phone. And then lastly, to make a to-do list for the day. I have never done that. <laughs> Is it any wonder that I can't be consistent on this app? No, it's not. Day one of anything is easy. You're fresh, you're energized, you're committed. This was no different. Yeah, day one had me feeling great. I mean, give anyone a glass of water when they usually starve themselves of it and they'll be happy. It's like when you see those before and after pictures of watering a peace lily. Yeah, that was me. All right, update. It is 5.30 as if I have a watch here. It's day one. Ah, I'm converted. I'm a believer. The to-do list changed my life. I feel like today is one of the best days I've had in a while in terms of mental health and productivity. I put a few things on the to-do list that I have been avoiding for literal months. Months. The dopamine shot that I got from crossing those things off of my to-do list, mm, like nothing else. Day two update, the way that you know this morning routine is really working <laughs> is the fact that it's midnight and I have one thing left on my to-do list and I do not want to wake up and move that task from today's to-do list to tomorrow's. So I'm gonna read this chapter and then I'm gonna get some sweet, sweet sleep. Overall, it's been wonderful. It's such a simple morning routine. And I think that is the key. I mean, that's definitely the key because it's achievable. I don't dread it. It's really working. I think, I think I might've cracked it. Cut to the narrator saying, Sophie had not in fact cracked it. There were some hiccups. I slipped up on literally every element of my routine, but I kept it pushing, which in the end is really what it's all about, right? I mean, getting back on the horse, that's, that's what it's about. I'm telling myself that's what it's about. <laughs> I looked at my phone. This is a confessional. It's here, under my pillow. I watched a TikTok that made me ugly cry, and that's when I knew it's time to put it down. <laughs> a little bit of a blip this morning. We're gonna go back to our morning routine. Watch me. <laughs> several days of my new routine, there were three things that stood out to me. Number one, my productivity went through the roof. I was getting way more done in a day than usual. Number two, I felt like I regained my creativity. For me, creativity relies on the ability to play. 
And I don't know about you, but when I feel unproductive, I find it hard to give myself room to play. So when my productivity went up, so did my creativity. And number three, I was able to make room for new things. Making to-do lists allowed me to get back into things that I had put off for a long time. Things that aren't related to work or that I don't necessarily have to do. Like learning Spanish. Listen, I don't want to preach. I don't want to force you to do anything, but this morning routine has had all sorts of ripple effects throughout my life. I got back into making videos. I posted my first YouTube video in six months. I'm generally feeling way more clear-headed and happy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I'm not exaggerating. If I can implement structure, self-imposed structure, you can do. If you have a morning routine that you love that looks different to mine, I wanna know what it is. Comment below and while you're at it, just like the video, no brainer. And then subscribe, cause again, no brainer. I have some things on my to-do list, so I gotta go. Bye.